Hey guys, this is Sinister Mystic, back with another tutorial, and today I'm going to show you how to make the healing spell from Skyrim. It's not going to be an exact replica, but it's going to be pretty close. Here's what it's going to look like. Yeah, it, it's, it's pretty easy to make. Let's get started. So you want to make a new composition. Uh, you can make the width and height 720 by 480, or 405. Just keep the duration short, like 10 seconds, or however long you want it. I'm just going to go 10 seconds. And then you want to start with the solid. So you want to make a new solid. Any color, it doesn't matter. Then you want to go to Effect, Simulation, Particle World. And once you're in this, you want to get rid of the grid. So you want to go under Grids and Guides, and get rid of the grid. And then... You want to get rid of the access box and the horizon. You don't need that stuff. So then you want to go to the physics, change the animation to cone axis, make the gravity zero, and you can decrease the velocity to about 0.20. It doesn't need to be that high. And then go to your particle, change the particle type to lens convex, and you're good for now. So now if you play it, you see you have bubbles. They're going to be whatever color your solid is, so if you want if you want them to be a certain color, just change them, and then they're going to be that color of a new solid. Sorry. Just change the color of your solid and see, they change. So let's just make them yellowish for now. Okay. So then, once you have your particle world on there, you want to go to Effect, Blur and Sharpen, and then CC Vector Blur. And then you want to increase it to about 40. Now you want to go to Effect, Blur and Sharpen again, and then Fast Blur. And then you can increase this to 40 also. And it looks decently blurry so you want to move the fast blur above the vector blur so you get that and then if you go back into the particle world and if you increase the longevity see how it stretches out and then you can just decrease the birth rate to about 0.4 and it's like a line so then you play it and it looks like steam kind of so this is the this is what's going to wrap around your orb for your healing spell so you have that now. All right, now with this, you want to duplicate the solid you have, and then in the physics, you want to decrease the velocity to about negative point twenty. So it looks like you have two lines now, and they grow at the same time. If you're working in CS5 like me, it looks like they're not really connected too well, so you can select the particle world on one of them and then just move it up a little bit so it looks like they're connected more that looks better but now you want to go into you want to make a new adjustment layer and on that adjustment layer you want to go to effect distort and then you want to go to mesh warp and now you see all the grids now you want to click on click on the intersecting points and then just move them so it looks like so it makes it look like the it's wrapping around a sphere kind of thing however big your sphere might be or it's however big you think it's going to be you just want to make it look like it's wrapping around kind of like that Then you can move them over, make them look more centered. Not the adjustment layer, or the adjustment layer. Or you could just leave them there. So with that, it looks good. Now you want to select all the layers, and then you want to go to composition. Sorry, you want to go to layer, pre-compose. And you want to move all the attributes into the new composition. And now with that composition, you want to duplicate that and then move them over and now 
rotate one so it's the complete opposite of the other one, so it's the opposite direction. Sorry, not rotate scale. Or rotate. And now you want to line them up so it looks like they're about to be over a circle. That looks awkward. There we go. So now they grow and it looks like it's kind of forming a circle. So now we're just going to make the circle really quick. So you want to make a new layer, make a new solid, <clears throat> make it any color, same color, it doesn't matter. And now you want to go to Effect, um, where is it? Let's see, Generate, yes, you want to go to Effect, Generate, and then Lens Flare. So just with your solid selected, just go to and in, go into the solid settings up in the layer menu and then just change the color of the solid to black so you can see it. And then move it under the two comps and now you want to center it. So you want to click on the lens flare and now just move its point to the middle. And then adjust the adjust the magic waves like they're going around it more. And now go back into the lens flare on your solid and just decrease the brightness so it's not so bright. And you can leave it at 550 to 300 millimeter zoom. You could change it if you want, it doesn't really matter. Just whatever you think is going to look better. I'm just going to leave it on 50 to 300. And now, there's your, there's your little circle. So now we're going to put the little bubbles in there. To do that, just open your comp again. You can hold Option and double click, or you can't in CS5. Just right click it and go to Open Composition. And then copy, copy the first solid you have, and then just get rid of the blurs on it. And see you have bubbles kind of? Well now just decrease the longe longevity of them so there's not as many and sorry you want to decrease the birth and death size of them so they're not so big keep them out like just keep them small and there you have some at the top if you want to put them at the bottom you can you would just duplicate the one the solid with the bubbles and then just change the physics velocity to negative 0.20. There you go. There. And now go back into your other comp. And there. And the lens flare isn't the same color yet, but at, after we're done with everything, we're just going to put a tint on them to make it all the right color. So now you can do, you can make Sorry, you can just copy the bubble layer and then just paste it into the comp. So you have bubbles like right in the middle, so then you can just move them down. Decrease the longe longevity of them. Maybe increase the birth rate if you want. Or decrease it if you don't want as many bubbles. And then just go into the velocity and decrease it a little bit. And you want to have the bubbles like right in the middle of the lens flare so it looks like it's coming out of the bubble. Also just maybe decrease the brightness of the lens flare so there's not so much of a ring. About 75 maybe. Just You just don't want so much of a ring. You don't want it to look like a lens flare. So now with that, you can add a tint to all of this now. If you just want to pre-compose it all, layer, pre-compose, move all attributes, and now just go to effect, color correction, tint. And you want to do, you want to change the map to white to an orangish yellowish. Hmm. 
Actually, no. Just get rid of the tint. Now go to Effect, Color Correction, Curves. Then change the channel to red and just increase the middle of it more. And actually go into your pre-comp, open it, and then put a tint on the lens flare. Effect, color correction, tint. Just change it to a more yellow color so it goes with the magic waves around it. So it looks like that. So it looks better. So now go back. Sorry, go back. And then see how it's getting orange? Just go to green, maybe increase it a little bit or decrease it. Or just, you know, keep it straight. Go go into the blue and decrease it just a little bit to get more more red in there. Maybe increase the red a little bit more. Put a little green, maybe. Just a little bit. So you kind of have the main orb of it. It's getting close. And now we're going to get the rings. The little waves that go around it. Let's go back into your main comp where you made the wave. And now just take the first solid you made, copy it, go back into the main comp, and now paste it. And now just rotate it about 90 degrees. And you have a wave. Just increase the longevity of it, maybe. No, don't increase the longevity of it. But yeah, so then with that, you can have it. You want to make both the. Want to make both the comps 3D, maybe everything in the comps 3D too, just to be. Sure, it's all good. <clears throat> and now you want to change your view to two views horizontal and then move your solid that's out of the comp, the wave, just move it forward. And now, if you look when you go to rotate it, Hold on, wait, before you rotate it, you want to press Y or choose the pan behind tool, and you want to change the pan to the middle of the orb and right on the layer, right there, right in the middle, closer to the middle, see, so it's right there, so when you go to rotate the, sorry, when you go to rotate the Y axis, it's going to rotate around the orb. <coughs> But you see as it rotates around, it gets trapped behind, <clears throat> it gets cut off, right there. See how it gets cut off? So you just want to right click on the pre-comp and change the blending mode to screen so it doesn't cut it off anymore. So when you rotate it, you can always see it. So now with that, now we're going to make it so the lines wiggle more, like they move more, so they're more animated. There we go. So you want to go into your line, your magic wave layer, and then take the solids, and you just want to go into the physics of them, alt or option click if you're on a Mac, on the, on the watch of the velocity and then type in wiggle parenthesis about 8 comma 0.25 parenthesis then just click off and then you're going to see the top wiggles more it's more like steamy that's what you want so now you want to go into the other other one and you just want to do the same thing wiggle 
0.8.25. I should have made, I should have done this sooner. I forgot about it though. Wiggle. I'm just going to copy it so it's easier. And then same thing. Paste it. Close out a bit. Now you see they're going to wiggle more. So they're going to just like go out, be more, not natural, just be more smooth flowing kind of. It's going to look more magical for the spell. Then you want to go in the solid you pasted, I mean you copied into the comp, and do the same thing. Just paste. It would just makes it look better as you are going to animate it. So now with that, you want to duplicate them. About three of them should be enough, or however many you want to go around. And then just move them into the right position you want them to start off in. Maybe start one in the back. Maybe over some. And now you just want to move the anchor points of these back in the middle, too. Right on the middle. Right in the middle on the layer. And you can adjust it right to the middle. And you want to do that to this one too. Just right on the solid in the middle. So now you want to select all the little waves. Press R to get the rotation of them. And now you want to keyframe them. To right about right when they're fully in. Right about there. Just click on the stopwatch of the Y rotation. And now go to about a little farther ahead and just increase it. Right about there. So now if you play it through, make the workspace smaller. Just do a little preview. It's going to look like they're moving around it, kind of. See, just like, just they're rotating around it. Except for when they get flat right about at their turning point right there. I guess that's kind of a deal breaker for the spell, but still. They do rotate around it. I'll, I'll show you how to fix that in another tutorial, because this one's getting kind of long. So we're going to wrap this up right now. So you have them, and they rotate. And now we're going to make it look more, more orangey like this spell. So just take all the layers, go to layer, pre-compose them again, move all the attributes. It doesn't matter how much you pre-compose. Then you want to go to effect, color correction, and now tint. And I'll change the map to white to maybe some orange. It's dark. Maybe dark orange, like there. And now just decrease the amount of tint to like maybe 40. Yeah, 40. Or just get rid of the tint. Don't compro. Just go back and open the compose layer. I guess you didn't need to compose them. Just take the solids. Add curves to them or a tint, whichever one's easier for you, and just change the tint to like orange or the color of the. Just take the little eyedropper tool and then go to the color of the middle lens flare and then click OK, and then they should look similar. So if you go out to your main comp. You can also go back to one view. You don't need the second view anymore. Just maybe add maybe 
another curves to increase the brightness of the red. Increase it a little bit, make it more orangey like the spell. Like that. There you go. There's your healing spell from Skyrim. Just a little quick way to make it. Well, thanks for watching. That's it for the tutorial. Keep watching my videos. I'll, pour, I'll post more stuff, maybe another tutorial on how to do a different spell from Skyrim. Maybe how to track it if you want to use it to in some of the videos you're making. Thanks for watching again. Subscribe if you liked it. Comment, rate, give it a thumbs up. Bye, guys.